being able to bring live musicians onto a film project, e even though there's a lot that we can still do in the computer that sounds pretty good, it's the difference between sort of going to a restaurant and browsing through the menu and like, you know how that some many restaurants they have the pictures of all the food? And like, it's, it's the difference between like looking at pictures of all the food and actually having the food in your mouth. The live musicians bring a level of personal experience, of expressiveness to a score that can never, never get emulated on the computer. It, it will bring so much passion, it brings so much depth, so much energy to the score to have a small ensemble of players and so much. And the thing about the live players is, is, is there's a relationship that they have to the acting and what's happening is that they bring like an expressive and inner quality out in the acting that you can't get on the computer. That there's a person, there's, there's a way that their playing becomes very, very personalized to the actors and the actresses in the film and the and the, the drama of the film and the emotional content of the film is really picked up to a, a completely other level. Now what what a ten thousand dollar music budget brings is an entire orchestra, which is the for a composer it's it's for I think the orchestra is the be all end all of film. <laughs> And that's when we're getting into the area of the, the big like Bernard Herman kind of scores and the John Williams scores and, and, and to have, and when you have 40 and 50 players all together emotionally and intensely and dramatically, you know, enhancing the score and the music to, to what's happening in the picture, that's just the, that there's nothing better than that. So the, the orchestra is the very, 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 very greatest opportunity I think there would be for film.